woke up. We already were sleeping more because it was warmer. Daniel Fernandez woke me up with the news that they had heard Nando and Roberto on the radio. Then, excited, we hugged and jumped inside the fuselage. The plane, which was on a pedestal of ice, was moving. We had to jump off and go down. Outside, there was a great big jug, a stainless steel tank filled with water, snow that melted in the heat of December day. We washed our faces, we combed our hair, and then we were well dressed as we had fallen, but dirty. We brushed our teeth too, even with toothpaste. And we sat down to wait for the rescue plane looking up. It was 10 a.m. and they arrived only at 12.45. We thought he had hallucinated the news. And at 12.45, we felt some distant 